Hello everyone, welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manually enroll Windows 10 to only in Intune MDM using Enroll only in device management option. If there is a requirement to enroll a device to Intune but should not have any Azure Active Directory joint registration record in Azure, we can use Enroll only in device management option. The device will be treated as a personal device in Intune portal. In this case, the device is only enrolled to Intune but it is not Azure Active Directory registered or joined. The device can be seen in all devices in the portal but not under Azure AD devices. With this type of enrollment, we can push MDM policies from Intune. However, there are a couple of reasons why this method may not be necessarily be the best way to go. To begin with, this method will not register the device into Azure Active Directory. And undoubtedly, this will create issues for you later on. Conditional access policy won't be get applied. As device required to be Azure joined for conditional access policy to apply. In this video, we will enroll a Windows 10 device to Intune MDM using enroll only in device management option to test this feature. Let's go to a Windows 10 computer first. This is a Windows 10 VM with the version 21H1. Click on Start menu. Click on Settings gear icon. Click on Accounts. Click on Access, Work or School. Generally, we click on a Connect. But this time, under Related Settings, click on Enroll Only in Device Management link. After clicking on the link, you will be prompted to enter your Azure Active Directory user account credentials. I'll use Test User 3's credential. Let's enter Test User 3's UPN, which is user 3 at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Click Next. Now, if the device finds an MDM endpoint, user will be asked to enter account password. Enter the user's password here and click on sign in. Click on yes. The process is completed successfully. Uh, click on got it button to complete Windows 10 Intune enrollment. Here we can see connected to MSF Surat MDM. Connected by using our user user3. Click on it and click on info. Now we can see it is managed by MSF Surat. This is the name of our organization. And here we can see the connection information as well as device sync status. We would recommend doing device sync right now. So let's click on uh, sync. Uh, this will take few seconds to complete the sync process. The sync is in progress and uh, wait for the process to complete. We can see the confirmation message. The sync was successful and this is the timestamp. To see this Windows 10 device in Intune portal, let's go to Microsoft Endpoint Admin Center again. Uh, click on uh, Devices. Click on All Devices. Here that device is not available, so I'm going to click on Refresh. Uh, I'm going to refresh the page and let's see what happens. Okay, still that device is not here, so I think we need to wait a little longer. I'm going to pause the video recording and once the device appear in the portal, I'll resume it. Okay, after waiting for around 2 minutes, the device finally appears in Intune portal. Here we can see the device name which is BYOD, managed by Intune. But the most important thing here is the ownership. We can see the ownership is a personal. 
Other information are there like compliance state, OS, a last check in time, and primary users UPN name. Let's open Azure Active Directory Admin Center to check the device status. So open new tab in Microsoft Edge web browser. Uh, type URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com and press enter key. Uh, this will take us to Azure Active Directory Admin Center web interface. Click on Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, click on Devices. Click on All Devices. And here we can see we have total two devices in Azure Active Directory. One is the device Windows 10, which is Azure Active Directory join. But we can see the other device is there, BYOD. Enabled operating system version information is there, but we can see joint type is blank. There's nothing to specify the device joint type. Not Azure Active Directory join, nor Azure Active Directory registered. There is no information about device owner and when it is registered. So owner information is also set to none, and we don't have any status about the registration and activity. Even we did not know if the device complied or not in Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Now let's check the same information in Intune. Here we have the information about the device name is there, managed by Intune, ownership information is there. But important thing is here, which we are not able to see in Azure Active Directory Admin Center. And that is the state of compliance. As you can see, it is a compliant. Okay, uh, let me click on devices and all devices. Uh, OS information is there, OS version information is there. And here we can see we have last check in time. That information is not available in Azure Active Directory Admin Center. For Azure Active Directory Join Device, that information is there uh, MDM or uh, owner, compliant state. For those devices which are joined to Intune using Android only and device management, those information are not available in Azure Active Directory Admin Center. But still, you can get those information in Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So now we can manage this Windows 10 device using Intune policies. So that concludes the video on how to manually enroll Windows 10 to only in Intune MDM using Android only in device management option. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.